Season 7 is in full swing, but the updates don't stop with the revamped Vikendi. Update 7.2 brings new balance changes, the long-awaited rank mode, and a new way to make some lit plays with jerry can improvements. We're also adding AI to the game with this update, but as stated before, there will be no bots in ranked mode. Let's get right into it. One of the most highly requested community features has been a proper ranked mode, so we're excited to launch our ranked season beta with update 7.2. Ranked mode replaces the previous survival title system and works a bit differently. First of all, you'll still go through a series of placement matches when you start. But after that, your rank will rise and fall depending on your game performance. You'll also have to enter a special ranked queue in order to get credit for your game. You can find the ranked option under the play section of the main menu. Ranked matches will be available in both FPP and TPP squads, and you can choose one, two, or three person squads as well. A maximum of 64 players will drop in each match on either Erangel, Miramar, or Sanak. Loot pools are a bit different as well, with more loot in general and a higher focus on more desirable weapons such as ARs. The blue zone pace is also different, and thanks to your very clear feedback, red zones will not occur in ranked mode. As you climb the ranks, your tier will increase, giving you access to additional rewards at the end of the season, with a special extra reward for the top 500 players. There's too much to go over here but you can learn more about Ranked Mode in the patch notes and our upcoming dev letter. Along with Ranked Mode comes the Season 7 Balance Shuffle for weapons. Shotguns are getting a buff to accuracy, effective range, and hit multipliers, while some underpowered ARs are also getting a few tweaks. The M16 and the Mutant will have decreased recoil in both burst and semi-auto, while the barrel is getting decreased recoil as well, along with increased muzzle velocity. We've toned down the M416 slightly, decreasing its base damage by one, lowering its muzzle velocity and adjusting its damage curve distances a bit. It's not a drastic nerf, but should lessen the gap between it and the newly rebalanced ARs. There are a number of other changes, so check out the patch notes to see everything. One last thing. We've added fun new ways to utilize jerry cans. By equipping the jerry can in your melee slot, you can pour gasoline out by using the normal attack button. There's about seven seconds worth of gas in each can, and spilled fuel evaporates after a few minutes. But that still leaves plenty of time to set your ambush. Gasoline is ignited by gunshots, grenade explosions, and Molotovs, causing the area to burn for roughly 20 seconds and dealing the same damage as a Molotov would. You can also throw the can as you would a melee weapon, causing it to spill some gas upon landing, making it a bit easier to ignite and explode. Jerry cans can't be picked up after being thrown, so aim carefully. Update 7.2 is on test servers now and coming to live servers soon, so drop in, rank up, and bring the heat to the battlegrounds.